Let's make a foldable spectrometer. Uh, I've taken the sheet that came in the lab manual and uh, cut out the edges of one of them already. So you've got two just in case you want to give one to a friend or um, you make a mistake. And you're going to cut out the outside portion of this with and uh, except you're also going to cut this line here. So it should look like this when you cut it out. And then there's actually two more places you have to cut it. You have to cut out this square and you have to cut out this line. And this one says to use an X-Acto blade, which if you do, be careful um, and make sure you don't cut anything under it. But I'm just going to use a pair of scissors. I've got my pair of scissors here. And to do that, uh, let's do the easier one first. I'm going to take this square and as gently as possible, fold it and then make a little cut inside the square and then I'm going to take the head, tops of the scissors and as best as I can cut this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is going to be our viewfinder so we'll be able to find the view anyway. But the better you can do it, the better you the happier you'll be with the construction of it, I think. But since you'll be taking pictures with your cell phone camera, if it's not perfect, that's fine. And that right there is more than adequate. Now the harder part, or is a little harder anyway, is the cutting out this line but again you're just gonna I'm gonna turn it around so I can hold on to it here and I'm gonna fold it and I'm gonna cut the line actually I'm gonna fold this all the way I'm gonna cut the line as best I can I start it a little off but then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it Let's see how we're going to do this. I'll tell you how we're going to do this. We're just making this up on the spot. I'm going to fold it actually all the way and hold on to it on this side. I'm going to make one cut and then I'm going to make a cut right next to it as close as possible. And then I'm going to tear that little piece out. So you can see I've got two cuts here right next to each other. I'm just gonna tear that piece out. You can cut it out too. And you can see I've got a little window there. And the thinner the better. My construction is not that great. And I'm gonna, actually I think I'm gonna cut it a little longer. So it's, well, actually I'm just gonna stick with that. So without an exacto blade, that's actually not too bad. So now I've got my piece here. And I've got my cutout window, and I've got a cutout. So the light's going to enter here, and this is going to be our viewfinder. And now we're ready to fold it up. Um, and let's see. So where it says fold down, I'm going to fold it down, <laughs> which which way is down is away from you. And again, I'm going to do it as close as possible to this line. I know this is cardstock, so it's a little hard to bend. But the cardstock actually is a thicker paper that will make it a better spectrometer and it'll make a black light better. So I folded that one down. Um, not going to fold that. Oh, that one's a fold down. This one's a fold up. That one should fold pretty well because it's a long, to a, it's bounded by a cut. And I, Mostly got it. Fold up. And I've got to fold down. And finally, these ones. Um, oh, I've got another fold down. So we're going along to make it a nice crisp fold. 
should be one more fold down here. Oh, it doesn't say it, but it's a fold down. Because in the end, what we're going to make is we're going to turn this into a little tube here. Yep. And um, this one, we're going to fold it up. And these ones we're going to fold back along the dash line. So all the dashes are folds. There we go. Yep. So now I've folded these three. And let's see, so I've got, uh, let's move this back a little tiny bit. So I've got, this is going to form a nice little square. This I should fold down. And again, along this dashed line here, which is a little flimsy. There we go. So when we construct it, and we're not ready yet, we're going to have a box here. And we're going to have these flat portions and we're going to tape them to the front part here. Oop, hold up. So in a couple minutes, we're going to tape these together, but we're going to have to put our diffraction grating in there yet. And we're going to tape these together. Actually, I think the first one to do is to just, let's go ahead and tape this so we get a nice square here. And masking tape is fine. And get it as close as you can. And I will tell you, my craft at this, not the best, but more than adequate. It's the level I'm going for here. And, yep. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and tape this closed too. I'll tape this top one first. And the more structure you can give to it, the better. And the more, yeah, let's see, just, so I've got that tape stuck down on that tab. And close it, I'm gonna get it as good as I can there. And that actually isn't too bad. Same thing on these two sides. I'm going to tape it to the little thing there. And you do not want any tape going over this slit here because we want just light and tape light would be different. And I've got, yeah, I don't have no tape there. Tape down this third side. I don't know. You can stick your finger in and just tape it down, get that tape nice and secure. And so now I've got, uh, I'm going to actually go in here and do that to all this tape. So I've got a piece of tape here keeping this box closed, and I've got three pieces of tape for one for each of these three sides. Good. It's starting to take shape. Now, um, before I close this up, I have to go get my diffraction grating. And your diffraction grating is going to be in your Chem 300 lab kit in the Ziploc bag with the magnesium. And so if you look in there for a very tiny piece of plastic. Oh, yep, there it is. And it will look just like a little tiny piece of plastic. And when you hold it up to the light, let's see. The rainbow, I think. There's going to be a rainbow when you look at it. Let's see. So the rainbow, holding it up to the light. 
Gotta hold it up to the light. Actually, but the dark background. You want the rainbow. So I have orange. Ooh. I have orange on this side and blue on this side. And that means the rainbow is going back and forth here. And so we're going to stick it on to the uh, window so that the rainbow goes uh, from red to blue or blue to red. The order doesn't really matter, uh, but as long as the rainbow goes this way and not side to side. I think that's how it's going to do it. And then we just want to tape that down over the hole, but don't tape the hole itself. Let's see, so there's that. I've got my piece of plastic down here. And we use small pieces of tape now. And I can bend this back a little bit too. Uh, I'm just gonna, and so I, I have, well, I guess I'm just gonna stick a piece of tape there to secure it. So I've got a piece up here. Now I'm gonna stick pieces on the sides to secure it as well. And it is on the inside of the spectrometer. And my tape sticks out a little bit past this edge. I can cut that off too if it sticks out too much. All right. So I've got tape on both sides. I'm now going to tape here, here, and here so that it will be flat. And I want to get that so that there's as little light as possible going into it. So, and now this piece of tape, I'm going to wrap around. This piece of tape, I'm going to wrap around and one more piece of tape. And there's a seems to be a little hole there. So I'm going to try and slide that over to close it up as best I can. And then tape this one as well. And now I've got a spectrometer. So it's got the diffraction grating, that piece of plastic that came in our kit over this window right here. It's got nothing over this slit right here. And when I hold it up to a light, uh, I should be able to, I don't know if I can show this. That's gonna be hard, oh yeah. There, you can see a rainbow. And the rainbow goes north-south. So the rainbow is going this way and that's because we made it so that the rainbow, when we put this piece of plastic in here, goes this way. If your rainbow goes side to side, you do need to take it out and rearrange your piece of plastic for it to work. And that is how you construct your uh, Sacramento City College spectralworkbench.org uh, spectrometer.